And uh, that's how we kept them apart. Bond based on their spelling. Moving right out in front and a shot, they score! Brad Lambert showing his skill. Brad Lambert is one of the most dynamic prospects available in the 2022 draft. In fact, he's probably one of the better skaters outside the NHL right now. This season, however, to become a top 5 pick, he has to prove that he can bring more to the table than speed and handling skills. So, to get a better idea of his overall play, we're going to break down one of his early season games. Lambert wears number 92. So Lambert is in the offensive zone for his first shift. He uses this face-off, and now his team is on the forecheck. So he has to pressure this opposing defenseman. He does it with a lot of speed, so he overshoots, but he still manages to knock the puck loose. And now he steals it back, moves it to his teammate, and attacks the open space. So let, let's rewatch this. So you can see the acceleration potential of Lambert to both win the puck and also to separate from the opposing defenseman to attack this open space. So his greatest quality is already on display. So the other team attacks in this shift. Lambert is coming in off the bench. He almost manages to steal this puck. And now he moves below the goal line. So he has to support his defenseman in their battle. And he wins the puck and attacks off ice. You can see that he skates with a lot of weaving crossovers, which makes him more deceptive and more speedy as he approaches the defensive line. And he just throws this puck in front. So let's rewatch this. We get a good look at uh, Lambert's skating technique. So his upper body is angled toward the ice, but not too much. It, it's really stable. Uh, there is no noise in his upper body as he skates. There's no extra shoulder or head movement. And his outside edge reaches far under him as he makes his crossovers, which makes him more explosive. And even his stick handling te technique is pretty great. So he has his elbow elevated. He handles the puck mostly at his side uh, with his top hand mostly too. And he has a lot of flexion in skating. So a lot of ankle flexion, a lot of knee flexion, and even his, his hips tend to tilt forward. So in terms of stick handling technique, skating technique, pretty much everything is there for him. As you watch this, one more time, another look at his techniques. The only thing I would have liked to see in this shift is one more scan movement. So after he gets this puck, he doesn't really know where his next teammate is because he doesn't scan for him inside the, the give and go. So uh, the pass he received was not on point. It was mostly in his skates and he had to uh, deflect this up to stick, but still he doesn't really know where his teammate is after getting it. Um, he just throws this on that, which is fine because that's where his teammate should have been. So now his team is on the power play. Lambert is swinging from low in the zone. Nice creative move to adapt to the pass that was outside his body. And he rushes all the way to the back of the zone. I like that he does that. Uh, use some nice changes of speed to get there. But because he gets very low in the zone, he creates more space for number six at the top of the zone to receive the pass. But I guess number six took his time to get there, so <laughs> Lambert had to climb back up. Now number 71 gets his puck on a half wall. That's a pretty weird rotation from Lambert, but I guess he's probably the half wall player and number 71 is the bumper player, so they just exchange position. So his team is on the power play again. Lambert picks up this puck. He's probably going to try and rush this in. He gets the blue line and moves it to a teammate. So let's rewatch this. The loose puck. He sees that there's a gap between the two <laughs> defenders, so of course he's going to attack it. Uh, what he does, you can again see his great stick handling technique, his great skating technique. There's a lot of flexion in his stance and he has his, ele his elbow elevated, which gives him a lot of stability in his handling. To move between the two, the two opponents, what he does is spot the puck into space. So he just pushes it forward and he protects it with his body and goes through the, the stick held in just one hand of the opponent. And with a nice change of pace, he manages to win the offensive zone. Now the puck is stuck on the half wall. Lambert is high in this battle. He tried to move this across, but saucer passes don't usually work against professional defenders. You just have too good of a hand-eye coordination. It was a nice pass to the goal line guy. So he does play the half wall in his team configuration. This is really a detail, but I like that he picks up this puck inside the crossover. It allows him to move faster to the top of the circle and just get the shot on that. Another rush opportunity for him. But he just decides to create this entry with the pass, which is perfectly fine. It's a good play. And this was overly fancy from his teammate. 
Now the other team regroups. Lambert comes off the bench. He feels the F2 roll in his team's forecheck. He cuts this play. Nice job from him. His team wins the zone, and this turns into a pretty good scoring chance. The play moves high, so Lambert goes to the half wall to provide a passing option, but the puck unfortunately jumps over his stick. The play moves high again. This time, Lambert has to move his feet a lot more, and probably attack inside to support this play, so let's rewatch this. So this is a fine positioning from Lambert, he provides a passing option to number 6, his defenseman, but as soon as number 71 attacks inside, Lambert has to either move behind that puck area to provide a passing option, a drop pass option, or attack inside somewhere to just free a bit of, a bit of space for number 71, but it just doesn't do much or moves a bit light. Like, because Lambert is so on the outside of the play, he it makes it very easy for the opposing defense to defend him. They don't even have to account for him much because he's not a threat to do anything until he attacks inside in this last play. Now he's a deflection option. Now this is a forechecking sequence in defensive zone. Lambert almost manages to steal this puck, but he falls down. And now he finds himself inside space and gets a really nice net drive chance. So let's rewatch this. Falls down, this makes him a bit behind the play, but it favors him. The puck arrives in his skates, but he adapts his reach. He extends his hands away from his body, manages to deflect this puck inside space, which allows him to take on the goalie. He sees that the goalie is set, so he decides to move all the way to the other post and almost manages to slow the puck under him and reach his teammate in front after that. Now this puck gets dumped in. Lambert is coming in off the bench. He's in the middle of the ice, F3 in this forecheck. I like that he slides backward there, so let's you watch this. He anticipates that he's going to get this puck, so what he does is create a bit of separation between him and the D. He slides backward, but it's not enough. That defender has pretty good reach. Now the puck moves below the goal line, Lambert supports. Now to the far post, so if this puck gets shot on net or passed to the net, he's right there. And with a couple of steps, he creates separation from this defender and tries <laughs> between the legs move so let's rewatch this again his crossovers are pretty deep so he separates from the, the defender reaches his puck with his stick and he's a pretty creative player <laughs> his team is on the power play again Lambert gets this puck he's going to try and create an entry for his team he attacks the middle and now the periphery after creating some space there the puck gets knocked off his stick but his team finds it back that's a good one touch pass number 91 now he's moving across the ice toward the half wall. I think his teammate just scored by banking the puck on the goalie. <laughs> so uh, Lambert gets an assist on that. I guess that's one way to score on a power player. So Lambert is playing F1 in this neutral zone 1 2 4 check. The other team double swings on one side of the ice. His teammate gets beat and this turns into a 2 on 1 at the net, but Lambert could have prevented it if he taken a bit more stride instead of reaching with his stick. If he had moved ahead or level with this opponent driving the near post, it would have made the, the read of his net front defenseman easier. So instead of playing a 2 on one that defenseman could have taken care of the opponent across the ice. But since they were both open, he decided to shade toward the near post driver and the puck got across. So now his team attacks. That's his defenseman carrying the play. Lambert decides to stay in space at top of the zone, but had he driven the net, he could have maybe gotten his hands on the puck. So his team gets a 5 on 3 power play, a great occasion to score. Lambert is again used as a puck carrier, he wins the zone easily, there's a lot of space, so controls the puck on a half wall and makes a nice seam pass to his teammate across the ice. So as you watch this, so he enters the zone, scans for his teammate, sees that he's not in position yet across the ice, so he it waits, buys a bit of time, delays, and makes the cross ice pass. That turns into a pretty good scoring chance. Lambert is on the rush with his team. The puck is sent a bit too far ahead of him, but he still gets first touch on it because of his speed. Keeps his speed moving, moves the puck down, and now he drives the net. Oh, this could have been a great scoring chance for him. Let's rewatch this. It's really a detail, but I like that. He keeps his speed moving, he attracts more than one defender on himself. He makes the entire opposing defense think that he's going to pass this 
uh, to his defenseman number six, but instead rims, rims this down. But his movement created more space for number 71 and 32 down below the goal line. And now he takes space and had number 32 seen him in time, this was a, <laughs> almost a sure goal for him because he has a lot of space and a lot of net, really a lot of net to shoot at. Brad Lambert is one of the most toolsy prospects I've seen in recent years. His skating and handling are textbook. He has perfect knee bend, a lot of ankle flexion, and the stability of his upper body allows him to retain full control over the puck as he switches direction and cuts inside the space of defenders. In this game, he created entries by attacking open ice and by using speed. I need to see him beat more opponents with deception and pace and lane changes before projecting him as a top NHL rusher, but he seems capable of all those things. He was behind the play at times, especially in the offensive zone. He has to scan to find his next play in advantages, like open ice in the slot, before getting the puck. And he has to better move away from the puck to support teammates and build more scoring chances in this league. So that's it for this report on Lambert. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this.